With the official start of summer now behind us, it's time to start thinking winter. What's going on Midwest skiers and riders? Matthew Zbranski with MidwestSkiers.com and yes, I know it's going to be almost 90 degrees today so we are still months away from skiing in the Midwest but that's why I think it's a perfect time to discuss when we can expect to be back on snow. So when will the 2022-23 ski season start in the Midwest? Well, the truth is I can't tell you but what I can do is give you some data. So today we're going to be examining the first three ski areas to open for each of the states across the Midwest. No predictions, no ridiculous forecasts, just last season's data. And at the end of the video, I'll go over some averages and also cover the first 10 resorts that were open across the Midwest last season. As always, once the season starts to edge a bit closer, we're going to be updating our guide and we'll have full coverage during the preseason, including our race to open bracket. That said, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and be sure to check out our Instagram and Facebook pages as well. Now, before we dive into the data, I'll first start with a quick recap of the general early season weather that we experienced last fall. Across the Midwest, we started a little slower than we would like to see, especially in northern Minnesota and Wisconsin. Temperatures did not drop in a consistent snowmaking range until about the middle of November, but overall, I would say we were still in the normal range, being about a week or two behind what would be ideal weather patterns for early openings. We'll be working alphabetically through the 11 states, or regions I guess, since we are considering the UP its own category. So let's start with Iowa. Since Iowa only has three resorts, you're going to be getting all three. The first ski area to open last season was Seven Oaks, opening for the season on Friday, November 26th, followed closely by Sundown, who opened on Saturday, November 27th, and then Mount Crescent opened on December 26th. Heading across the border to Illinois, the first ski area open was Chestnut on Saturday, December 11th, followed by Snowstar on Monday, January 3rd, and Villa Olivia on January 6th. Pushing on through to Indiana, which only has two ski areas, Perfect North set the bar opening on Thursday, December 9th, while Paoli Peaks open on January 13th. Riding on up to Michigan, Pine Knob kicked off the season opening on Saturday, November 27th, with Mount Holly a close second on November 28th, and we had a four-way tie for third between Nubs Knob, The Highlands, Boyne Mountain, and Mount Brighton, who all opened on Friday, December 3rd. Over in Minnesota, Andy's Tower Hills took home the top spot with a Sunday, November 14th opening, and Wild Mountain was just a day behind opening on Monday, November 15th. Powder Ridge took the third spot opening on Saturday, November 20th. Sliding on down to Missouri, both of their two ski areas opened in January, with Snow Creek taking the edge with a Friday, January 7th opening, and Hidden Valley just a couple of days behind with a January 9th opening. Heading north to North Dakota, all three of their ski areas opened in December, the first being Botano and Frostfire that opened on Saturday, December 11th, then Huff Hills followed shortly after on Thursday, December 23rd. Over in Ohio, Snow Trails took the top spot, spinning their lifts for the season on Friday, December 17th, then Mad River and Boston Mills followed a few weeks later with January 7th openings. Both of South Dakota's two ski areas were on snow in December last season with Terry Peak opening on Wednesday, December 15th and Great Bear Ski Valley on Thursday, December 30th. The UP opened up the season on Wednesday, November 24th with Ski Brule spinning its lift, then Blackjack followed opening on Friday, December 3rd. And then coming in third, we had Marquette Mountain who opened for the season on Friday, December 10th. And finally, Wisconsin, who opened their season when Troll Hagen spun their lifts on Friday, November 19th, closely followed by Tyrell Basin, who opened on November 20th. And finally, in third, we had a tie between Granite Peak and Alpine Valley, Wisconsin, which both of them opened on Wednesday, November 24th. Looking at all of the resorts across the Midwest, there was an average opening date last season of December 16th, with over 51 of the 115 ski areas we have data on open before that date. We had 24 ski areas open before or during the Thanksgiving weekend, two in Iowa, two in the Mitten, 10 in Minnesota, one in the UP, and nine in Wisconsin. 
The Midwest's first 10 ski areas opened last season were as follows. Andy Tower Hills in Minnesota on November 14th, Wild Mountain in Minnesota on November 15th, Trollhagen in Wisconsin on November 19th, Powder Ridge in Minnesota on November 20th, Tyrol Basin in Wisconsin on November 20th, Afton Alps in Minnesota on November 24th, Ski Brule in the UP on November 24th, Granite Peak in Wisconsin on November 24th, Alpine Valley in Wisconsin on November 24th, and Lutzen Mountains in Minnesota on November 25th. So did you guys catch all that? <laughs> Lots of data here, but this should give you a rough idea when you can expect to be on snow in your region. Now, if you wanna check out all of the data that we have collected over the past couple of years with averages, we will include that in the article that's gonna be associated with this video, and we'll be sure to link it below. But until next time, I hope all of you have a great week, pray for snow, and I'll see you guys out there.